Hi there, and welcome to Cabarrus County, home of the very first discovery of gold. Back in 1799, when a young man by the name of Conrad discovered a 17 pound gold nugget in a river while playing, marking this the first place of the official gold rush. Around me, you'll notice the city of Kannapolis. I bet you'll be surprised to know that just a few short years ago, right here under my feet, lie the home of the largest towel and sheets manufacturer known as Cannon Mills. Employing more than 15,000 people across 12 plants right here in Cabarrus County. After the closing of the mills, the buildings lay abandoned and served as a reminder to the residents that Cabarrus County was once a thriving industrial community. You see, here in Cabarrus County, we worked diligently to rewrite our story. But in order for you to understand where we are, we must show you where we've been. It was tragic. It was just absolutely horrible. We had city council meetings uh, four or five times a month and they would last for hours. And you would see great big guys come to the council meeting with tears dripping off their chin saying, I don't work anywhere else. I don't know anything to do. When you lose 4,300 people who have a job, it is a major impact on the economy in the area. It is an empty shell a reminder of a time when hundreds of employees filled one of Concord's largest businesses. So on this site here, Philip Morris was a plant that produced cigarettes for the world. There are over 2,700 employees at this plant. It was one of the most technically diverse uh, facilities in the world. And as a result of its presence here, we were able to elevate the workforce here in Cabarrus County in a way that uh, no other industry was able to do. Well, I real well remember when Philip Morris closed. Uh, it was uh, about as big a shock as we could imagine because it was uh, a large industry. Many families in Concord and Cabarrus County and surrounding counties uh, worked there. The manufacturing plant was huge and on a beautiful, beautiful piece of land. And we were all wondering, you know, What's, what in the world can go there and replace that? Some communities never survive, let alone thrive, from such losses as those experienced by Cabarrus County residents. One of the most important things you need to remember about Cabarrus County is just how forward thinking and resilient the individuals are here. Individuals whose only focus is to create new opportunities and new experiences for all of us here. In 2003, when, when the mills closed here and we experienced the largest mass layoff in the history of the state of North Carolina, this community came together like never before. It's the collaborative spirit of Cabarrus County that sets this community apart from others. I think you'll find that a community that is vibrant, inviting and progressive, as well as that takes pride in who we are, is a community you'll want to be in. The workforce and recruiting base and the radius by which you have to work with is outstanding here in Cabarrus County. I really think that Cabarrus County is no longer just a suburb of Charlotte, at least in my eyes. There's a great sense of pride in Cabarrus County. There's a great sense of pride in living here and working here uh, and, and actually, you know, playing here. <laughs> Many of our successful efforts towards parks and recreation, the arts, and other aspects of our community are designed to make Cabarrus County an attractive place to work and to live. As we have talked to other companies who are looking to settle in our area, they want a, a trained workforce first, and then after that, they want to be able to work their people hard, but at the end of the workday, they want to be able to relax and have a good time. The walking trails that we've built, the opportunity to ride your bike and to hike in the area is, is a great bundle for new businesses who are looking to come to Cabarrus County. It's a place that all of us like to call home. You will too. So what does the future look like here in Cabarrus County? It looks bright, 
just like that gold nugget found by Little Conrad back in 1799. This community is a resilient bunch, full of small businesses and large industries. That is what makes Cabarrus County the place to be. We look forward to seeing you right here in Cabarrus County.